see you. Love you I would um, ask that you share a little bit more about your experience of the Reawaken Healing Cleanse, the 10 day cleanse, because you joined us for the first time when uh, in March 2020. I think so. Yeah. Long ago. <laughs> I feel I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, we're rolling out soon, 22nd of September. So what was your problem before joining the cleanse? So I just felt very, um, I think the main thing was I felt very brain fog, felt very sluggish and kind of unmotivated really that was the main thing i had lots of other little problems but the main thing was just feeling dull i just felt generally quite dull yeah and so but, what were the results that you had from making the cleanse well i just felt incredible afterwards it was unbelievable the difference from before and after it was very um i just felt much clearer and I just felt like I got my own kind of lifestyle and diet back on track. You know, I felt like all my those cravings that I was having, which were obviously just making me feel worse, I had those out of the way. I actually craved proper food. It was very interesting. And in fact, I did the cleanse with my partner and he suffers from terrible ADHD and he has real sugar addictions and everything and i was amazed it. you know we did the oiling every morning i mean we just did it everything you said we did we didn't like sidestep at all and he had never had his adhd that well sorted he actually carried on with the cleanse for six weeks afterwards he lost a lot of weight um i also lost at least three kilos i mean not that i was um it wasn't my aim to lose weight. I would like to lose a bit of weight, but it wasn't my aim. But yeah, for, with him, I could really see the clear mind, you know, thinking about a clear mind. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yay. Wow. That's good for <laughs> him. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. He's joining me this time as well. He's really excited to get back on track and he for a long i mean since then it's actually really changed the way he eats he eats at least four or five times a week he now eats dal and rice and he's yeah but yeah he's definitely getting ready for the next cleanse i can see we're having little bits of wine on the weekend and you know all those other delicious things <laughs> <laughs> all right so how did you hear about the cleanse I actually found you on Instagram. Huh? Yeah, I saw okay. you on Instagram. And then I saw your, there were some recipes that you posted. And I thought, oh, this, re I, I'm quite a foodie. And I thought, oh, this really looks nice. Um, and I tried something and it was delicious. And then I started following you and I found it very interesting what you were putting out there. And yeah, and then when I saw the cleanse, I was like, okay, that's it. Um, you know, um, I live here in South Africa, so everything in dollars and in, in euros is too expensive because the rand is very weak. But I just said, no, we are doing this. I'm full of high water, we are doing this. And we did it. And I've used a lot of the recipes ever since, actually. I mean, I, I, your red lentil dal is my favorite dal recipe. I just find it so grounding and balancing. And I mean, there are a lot of beautiful dal recipes, but that one just really works for me. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. So what exactly did you like most about the cleanse? Um, I liked that it was delicious. <laughs> I don't like, um, I don't like too much suffering when it comes to food. I don't like that sort of, I have, you know, when I was younger, I'd tried a lot of different kind of diets and it was just, I was always feeling hungry in between meals. And I, was, I just spent all my time thinking about food when I, was, when I was on a diet. I felt like I had no time for anything. Whereas with this, I didn't have that. I actually looked forward to the next meal, but I felt incredibly satisfied between meals. Um, but my favorite part, I think, was the sort of 
wholeness of it. So there was the Abayanga, there was, you know, you were encouraged to journal, all those things that you actually really felt like you took some time out to care for yourself. And I think for me, that's really important because I'm, I'm a bit of a carer, I care for everybody else. So when I get given a set time to, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like I got the permission to really care for myself, yeah. So I'd say, and I love, I mean, the amazing Grace um, drawing, the, oh, the recipes are so delicious. I'm trying to think of some of the other things, but yeah, they were just, just amazing. The, the pear and rocket salad, I think it's, it was a pear and, I can't remember, the pear yeah. salad, oh my word. My son's even thinking of putting it on the menu in his restaurant. <laughs> That's super. So what would you say to someone else? How would you recommend it if someone was on the fence and they were not sure? Well, I think I would say to them to just sort of sit quietly for a while and ask themselves how they really are. And if, yeah, to, to really check in with themselves and to, yeah, I just think everybody right now needs to do this kind of thing because we're all so stressed out. And I just think if you're feeling stressed and whatever, this is really like a grounded, um, easy way to do something for yourself. I'm not saying the cleanse is easy. I mean, you certainly go through stuff as well but it's in it's 10 days you know and after 10 days you feel fantastic and your energy is up i mean it's difficult to convince somebody to do it the best way actually is to do like before and after shots of your people <laughs> because you really look everybody wherever i went people were saying wow what are you doing what have you done you know god you look so good you look so much younger you you know and my partner, everyone was saying, wow, what's happened to you, you know? So I suppose, yeah, I mean, it's just something I would highly recommend. I, I wouldn't, um, yeah. I wouldn't I'm going to take you up on that offer. I think I should start doing, asking people that are up for it to take their before and after shots. Yeah. You know, I did, uh, I did a punch of karma in India about three years ago, and they did that. And it was amazing just unbelievable to see the before and after pictures i was like wow okay right Different. that's a, that's the first thing to do then this this <laughs> cleanse is to get everyone to get their photo cameras out selfie type so if you um oh so can you tell me three benefits you've experienced as a result from the cleanse um i'd say the first benefit is a long-term awareness about sort of every week now I do like a kind of you know Mondays I might just do kitchery or that I can actually that I've learned to tune a bit more into my body that I can feel a uh, hang on I've pushed it too far I need to you know get back to some sort of um, gentle food that would be one benefit the second benefit was the energy that you feel after the cleanse is, is amazing. You just feel so much stronger. And the third thing I would say is probably that, and it's, it's maybe sort of part of the second one, is that I felt I could hold my own boundaries better. Yeah, I felt, I felt really strong, not just stronger outside, I felt stronger inside. Maybe that would be the third benefit, yeah. What was life like before you started the cleanse? Chaotic, <laughs> I'm busy, which is always a bit of a problem with me. I tend to be just too, too busy. Um, yeah, and just not looking after myself properly. I think that was how it was. Yeah. And then what's life like now you've experienced a cleanse? Well, I'm just better at feeding myself properly. Also because I know I'm going to enjoy what I make. You know, it was interesting this morning. I, I woke up and I, I so yesterday I had a piece of toast with an egg and it was fine, but I felt so full and sort of heavy 
until lunchtime that I was like, oh, I don't even really feel like lunch. And today I just had your amazing grace juice and I'm just feeling much better, you know? So yeah, that kind of awareness of that you can feel good on healthy food, you know? Yeah. It, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, also, it's also your appetite as well, mm. right? Like yeah. really being able to sense and feel your appetite, mm. how it is. Mm. Yeah, feeling more connected to my own body has really um, been a good a good thing with the cleanse. So what surprised you the most or made you the most happiest about making the changes or the habits that you learned? Um, what surprised me the most was that I didn't have to feel so awful while I was cleansing. That I actually felt okay I mean, I didn't, I won't say I felt like I felt at the end of it all the time, not at all, but I didn't feel, I didn't have those terrible headaches. Oh, I've been on cleanses where, you know, you just want to pull the duvet over your head and disappear for a week because you can't do anything. So yeah, I think that surprised me that you actually felt okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, thank you, Miriam, for being able to speak on what the cleanse was like and I really look forward to seeing you in this next one you and your your partner yes. and I'm hoping that the benefits are going to be tenfold more <laughs> and that you're going to be more energized and glowing and joyful thank you so much for being able to speak on this yes 